Hey everyone, just letting you know that my Korean skincare routine is back on sale for 45% off and free international shipping. Make sure you don't miss out because we won't be selling again until November and it's only available for one month. Hello friends and family, this is Megan Moon, aka Cholun Mi Gook Sat. Sat. Got coffee on my outfit. No! Hello friends and family, this is Megan Moon, aka Cholun Mi Gook Sat. And you guys know that we just moved to a city called Paju. We moved out of Seoul not too long ago and many of you guys were asking us to please do a house tour. And we hadn't done it because the house is still not organized. We have two toddlers running around so there's no time to actually organize so the house still looks like it. sorry but anyway i'm gonna show it to you let's go so this is our yard yay it's very difficult to find a house in korea with a yard a decent sized yard anyway this yard is a pretty decent sized yard um but there was no grass. You guys know when you saw the moving video, but finally we put in the grass. We did it ourselves. Holy crap, it took so long. We're both tired and dead because they delivered the grass downstairs there. And um, each of these squares is pretty heavy. You can only carry two big squares of grass at once and there's 300 of them, okay? We had to carry by ourselves, two by two, up here. After we had to dig up all the ground, pull up all the weeds and flatten it out. Bro, never again. Next time we gonna pay somebody. Still got a lot to do, but we getting somewhere. Here's the front door. Let's go on in. So this is the, hello? This is the place where the shoes are, the front door, which is what all Korean places have. Just shoes, shoes. You know, it's just a front door area, so nothing special. Okay, so when you come in here, this is the living room. You notice there's nothing hanging on the walls because we haven't really had time to do anything or decorate. Um, we ordered like some of the family pictures that we had taken, so we're gonna do like pictures up on the wall. Maybe put some flowers up there, but right now there's nothing. This area is blocked off because the kids are forever getting into the cat food and the cat water. So we just put it up here and blocked it off for now. For some reason, they don't want to eat food, but they love to try and eat the cat food. Baby logic. So onto my favorite spot in the house. This is the Huang Tobang, which is clay room. Smell it, Mr. Rich, do you like this kind of smell? I do. It's nice, right? So I've been sleeping here just because I love the smell of clay. It smells so good. With the like hinoki wood, it's a nice, earthy, relaxing smell. Kind of like a spa smell almost. And actually, what's cool about this room is that you actually go outside and there's a little space under the room where you light the fire. And the fire heats up the floor, it heats up the clay, and the room gets nice and like warm and toasty. It's so Nice. This is the carbon monoxide um, thingy because I'm very concerned that there's going to be a leak somewhere and the fire's going to come up and I might go to sleep and not wake up. Okay. I take not dying very seriously. So I got a carbon monoxide um, detector and then the smoke detector is right up there. So this is my red light, infrared light, I guess. It's really good for your skin and it's just really warm and nice. So if I have an ache somewhere, it's usually typically like my back, then I just like lay under this light on the floor in the clay room. It's really nice and relaxing and apparently it's really good to get this kind of light like in the morning. Mommy spa room. And this is the kitchen area here. We got our two fridges, regular fridge and the kimchi fridge, you know. And you know, all the standard stuff. The only thing I don't like about this place is the microwave is here and the babies come and they press the buttons and touch the buttons. And this is a very messy laundry room. This is where the water machine is. Um, excuse those clothes on the floor, pretend like they're not there. And this leads out to the patio and where we go to put the wood in the clay room. This area is a mess, but this is where you light the fire. This is one of my favorite rooms when we have family and people over. They come into the sunroom so that we can all eat. Look at my shoes. You know you're jealous. 
baby shark dun, 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 dun. so um we have to put these under the table so funny my in-laws are actually coming over today and they're having a barbecue party too so that's why we just kind of left everything as is these are leftover from the twins party and then sometimes i come in here and i do hit training i got my pull-up bar here good little pull-up action i can do pull-ups again yay me being back to my old strong self <laughs> these are the board game cabinets some people come over we can play board games and here we have a bathroom so it's a very a very standard korean bathroom with where the whole like shower is the bathroom there's no like separate area so like water just gets on everything Oh look, what is this? Is this Megan's Korean skincare routine? Yes it is! So if you're new and you don't know what my Korean skincare routine is, I'll go over it with you. The first thing that I use is my green tea enzymatic powder wash. And the green tea powder wash is great because it contains papaya enzyme and baking soda, which is great for clearing out the impurities from your blackheads. And it clears out your dead skin cells and gives you an overall smoother and brighter complexion. And next is my rice toner. And this contains rice extract, which is great for elasticity care. It helps to provide a protective barrier across the skin which is great for preventing water loss but also for eliminating dead skin cells is great at rebalancing dry or oily skin and just provides overall luster to the skin next I use my freshly juiced vitamin C drops and vitamin C is amazing for the skin it's anti-aging it's great at preventing sun damage it helps to improve acne spots and dark spots on the skin it has a lot of antioxidant properties which help to boost the collagen in your skin as well and it's also really good at helping to prevent wrinkles I think the one reason why my skin has like aged so well over the years is because I use vitamin C every single day it's extremely good at helping to minimize enlarged looking pores and lastly we have the vitamin E mask vitamin E is a super strong antioxidant and it really helps to brighten the overall complexion it has anti-aging properties and it will help your skin to appear more firm and youthful overall and there you go <laughs> many people ask if it's safe for pregnancy and breastfeeding it sure is I use it all through pregnancy and through breastfeeding so you don't have to worry about that either make sure you don't miss out all the information will be down below don't forget there's free international shipping and 45% off of the entire routine we won't be selling it again until November so make sure you get enough and this picture is actually supposed to go up here we're gonna hang it up one of these days maybe another couple months she'll hang out there realistically so this room is like where I do my editing you guys know I have my treadmill desk to do my editing so we kind of made it into like the baby's play area so the babies can play in here when I'm like getting my work done and then this is Mr. Moon's desk that he uses for not work related things so this is where all the magic happens this is where I'm editing the video that you're watching even right now and I usually walk do it envision it because I'm not turning the machine on because I gotta connect it to Bluetooth on my phone great a day in my life <laughs> and the good thing is that there's actually another bathroom in here this house has so many bathrooms it has three bathrooms and this is the garage area let's go down so here we go uh, like all Korean houses there's a lot of space for shoes down here in the garage but like there's too much space like really we don't have that many shoes so this is the garage area oh. but the people before I guess they use this as like an entertainment room because if you come in there's a cooker right there there's a sink and a refrigerator but I'm like yeah we're just gonna use it for strollers and stuff you can cook stuff there's a sink and a refrigerator I wonder if there's anything in it. We haven't opened it since we moved. And now let's move on to the second floor. So we don't have many decorations because time. But I did manage to decorate these little window sills on the stairwells. Great. So this is one of my favorite places, the terrace. This door automatically locks Mr. Rich, so don't close it. We're just gonna keep the screen closed when we go. So I love coming out here during the baby's nap because the sun is out 
and it's nice. And sometimes I come out here and do like, you know, some body weight workouts or ab workouts is usually what I like to do out here with my little mat. But this terrace is huge. It comes like all the way around here. But oh my God, the tree, I just cleaned this off like four days ago, swept up every leaf. And then there's leaves again. So I just given up. Oh, annyeonghaseya. <laughs> my in-laws are actually here. My in-laws are actually here. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, bo haseyo? Ah, bo haseyo? All right, anyway, we're about to have a barbecue, so we gotta hurry up and get this house tour done. Anyway, this is the terrace, everyone. <laughs> so then, there's another bathroom here, and this is the one with the bathtub. Nothing special, it's a bathtub, and there's baby toys, toothpaste on the mirrors, just normal stuff. On to the closet room. Welcome to my messy closet. It's not the most organized, but we did the best we could do. As you can see, I threw some clothes behind that mirror just so that we can film real quick. Well, this is my makeup area, which is a mess because the babies like to get in here and reach and grab everything. So I've given up on organizing it. It's fine. So this thing, you can connect it to? Bluetooth connected. Okay, you connect it. I didn't even tell you to do that, but fine. You can do music. And then you can change the lighting from like darker too. This is the hair cart, everyone. And since we moved, we still actually haven't organized the clothes the way that we want them. Because right after we moved, you know, my family came and we had the baby's first birthday party. So it was, ah, it was crazy, but here it is. And there's the area right there. And that's where we're supposed to put all the blankets and put them in these like nice plastic things that you squeeze the air out of them so they fit real nice and like it's supposed to be nice over there but it's not. I'm gonna let you see it. This is real life, okay? Just take a look. Okay, that's enough. Right now we just throw everything we don't feel like dealing with over there. <laughs> and yeah, you guys remember this from the last house. We actually had them up on the wall in the last house but we decided not to do it this time. Anyway, this is the closet area. All right. We're going to show you the baby's room now. Let's go. The babies are asleep trained, so we have to keep it dark for them to take a good nap. So we always have like the curtains on. This is the baby's room. So this is a changing station. And then this is their dresser. Same one from the other house. This is some toys that we still have not unpacked from when we moved in yet. They're cribs. We do have a new addition. We have like this like swing set thingy. It's so cute. The babies um, love it. Ruben likes to just climb up it. It's so funny. They don't want to go up the stairs in the back and then come down. They literally just want to climb up the slide. But I did teach Luna how to basketball. Whenever she sees the basketball, she puts it in the little hoop. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Moon just used some old like fabric left over from work so that we can black out the curtains so it can be darker on this side. <laughs> so yeah, we still got some bootleg things that haven't been fixed yet, but it's functional, so that's all that matters. All right, now let's go up to the third floor. So the third floor is just where like the cat litter box and like cat stuff is, and it's just where we sleep. Cause in Korea, there's this weird thing where when you have land, you can only build on a certain portion of the land. So you'll notice that in Korean houses, you'll notice that they built up. So that's why this place goes up to the third floor. But I'm just like, we could have had this all on two floors because this floor really just has like small rooms because it's like they're kind of like in the roof. So this is just a small room where there's storage. This is um, a rare sight. This is Mandu. She never comes out. She hates people. Oh, she's not today, look at that. So this is the smallest room in the house. We just decided that we're just gonna sleep in the smallest room in the house because me and Mr. Moon don't watch TV or anything in the bedroom. Literally the bedroom is just, you come up here, you go to sleep. So we're like, to make it like the bigger room, like a master bedroom would kind of be like a waste of space. We think so that's why we did the closet room and the biggest room because we do visit those rooms and like actually hang out in them much more than here. It's only sleep. You notice that there's no decorations or anything <laughs> at the moment. Uh, maybe there will be, maybe there won't be. We're probably just gonna leave it as is because literally we just sleep in here. There's no need to put anything in here. Hey, look, it's Gamcha. Hello. 
I'm gonna cuddle with me. Good boy. And he's so big and warm, it's nice to cuddle with Kamta in the winter. And, I mean, do we need to show you the storage rooms? Literally just, when I say it's a storage room, I mean literally. Yeah, and that's basically why I said, you know, this could have just been done in two floors. <laughs> but anyway, it's just how it is. The babies are up. They came to say goodbye. <laughs> you guys have a good nap. So make sure you check out my Korean skincare deal. Remember, it's only available until June the 4th. So it's not much time left. I don't know when I'm uploading this video, but it'll be before then, so there's not much time left. So all the information will be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video and like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube page, which is down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, now on Snapchat, because I don't use that no more. Like me on Facebook, and we will see ya. I don't have a free hand to salute you, but. <laughs> Bye.